The coronavirus and a threat of a hurricane is adding some new stress to people and staff at area nursing homes. According to the Florida Department of Health, more than 5,000 people living in these facilities have contracted the virus. So tonight, we wanted to know what is being done to protect these people during this double threat. News 6's Lauren Cervantes spoke with leaders at one nursing home. Lauren. I spoke with Sonata Senior Living, who tells me what's been most challenging is having to revise time-tested plans. They say they've had to make a number of changes to incorporate COVID-19 protocols. Obviously, our East Coast communities of Sonata are a little bit more on uh, pins and needles. Bryce Robinson, Senior Regional Director of Operations for Sonata Senior Living, says with the threat of ESIESIS, they've initiated phase one of their emergency preparedness plan. This is where we start preparing for the worst, but we're still hopeful for the best, of course. Officials with Sonata Senior Living say with COVID-19, they've had to alter their emergency plan, saying they are ready with personal protective equipment and are prepared to practice social distancing. We've increased that supply. We've packed it and it's ready to go in the event of an evacuation. We are prepared to continue not only to socially distance, but also um, provide our staff the protective equipment necessary. Robinson says they've also had to double their transportation to maintain social distance. COVID-19, when we were when we were looking at the agreements we had in place with transportation, we realized more of a shuttle type service would be needed in addition to doubling the seating capacity just to ensure that six foot social distance. Robinson says with the pandemic, some families have said they'd be more comfortable picking up their loved ones and taking them home. However, he says there are protocols in place for when they return to immediately test for COVID-19 and isolate that individual in their apartment as a precaution until we received negative test results. Governor Ron DeSantis spoke at a news conference earlier today in Tallahassee where he said that 100 percent of the state's nursing homes and assisted living facilities have working generators on site. In Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6.